here it's all about racing. It's all about the design of racing. So they call this a rail, even though, depending on who you talk to, a rail is not supposed to have any body on it. It's just a chassis and an engine and a seat, right? Um, but we do have the Dodge Brothers cowl, and uh, unfortunately for Trog this year, when we re-enter it again, we're going to end up removing that cowl, but we are going to make it a removable piece where we can put it back on, but we have to restructure everything underneath. But technically the car is a rail. Um, we ran it for the first year last year uh, in October. It was the first year that Trog uh, allowed a overhead valves running for the rail class. So we were kind of, uh, you know, kind of, kind of one of the first group of people to run in that class for that year. Now for the folks who are watching this and don't know what Trog means, what uh -huh, is Trog? Sorry. Yep, sorry. So I use a lot of the lingo because it's just familiar sure. to most people, right? But, but Trog and, uh, it stands for the race of gentlemen. So, and it's a, it's a period correct race. And it's not really so much a competition as much as it is a pageant, right? It's, it's a living, breathing pageant of period correct cars that would stretch, range from like, like the 1920s on up into maybe the early 50s at the most. And our car is probably an example of an early 50s uh, rail drag that would have been built prior to uh, them doing more modifications like narrower front ends and, and the seats hanging down below the rear axle and things like that before they really started to get radical. Greg and Steve, they are our carb tuning experts. They can get almost anything running no matter how long it's been sitting. And we never had that engine running and we were struggling with it, most of us. So we called them out. They came out. Most of us were gone doing other stuff that day. So the two of them worked and worked and worked. They got it to fire up. So one of them was taking a video while the other one went to start the car for the first time. And the guy taking the video just said, kick it in the gut and the other guy started it up, it started up, and it was the first time any of us heard it run. So, in tribute, for tribute to that, we wrote, kick it in the gut on the floor pan. As a reminder to us that that's, that's just what we need to do.